Hi guys, it's Vanessa again. First, I just want to say thank you so much for all of the positive responses that I got for my first box opening video. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, and this is your first time checking out my channel, um, go ahead and take a look at my videos. I do have a, a Reborn box opening video uh, from about a week ago from my, my dear friend Emily at Emily's Dream Dolls. And today I have a surprise box opening. I didn't really say much about getting this baby. Um, this baby came from Russia. I don't know if you can see here some of the um, Russian language on the side of the box. It took about four weeks to get here. I was a little bit nervous, but it arrived today, and I have been sitting on this box all day long, waiting for an opportunity to do a box opening video, because I had mentioned um, in my last video that that definitely was not going to be my last box opening, and I was not kidding. This hobby is so addicting, and... Um, I'm not, I'm not done yet. So, <laughs> um, I am just going to go uh, ahead and get right into it. And the artist, I didn't have time to make a flyer this time. My kids ran off with the crayons, of course. Um, the artist, her name is Alina Antonova, and I will be putting that in the description as well for this baby. Um, so you can go ahead and check her out on Instagram, or I found the listing for this baby in the prototypes and high-end reborns Facebook page and I fell in love uh, love at first sight had to have it so here it is um, and I just covered up the address here this is just a, a piece of paperwork I'll just keep the surprise and we'll be moving to the bobby again too as soon as I get through the goodies I know I always love seeing everything that's in um, people's box openings I don't want to see just the doll I want to see everything that came inside um, and I, and I think it's really cool to, um, as a pers perspective buyer, to be able to see what the experience is like for each individual artist too, because in my opinion, um, this is an experience, um, in addition to getting the baby, it's, it's the whole thing. And I really, I really appreciate that. So let's get into it. Um, it looks like here, I'm, I think this is the top of the box. It should be. All right, so we've got some, got some bubble wrap, and I'm going to recycle that. I like to reuse my packing material. I just want to make sure that you can see me. My tripod was being a little bit wonky today. Oh my goodness, there's all kinds of stuff in here. I can't wait. All right, oh, and I think this is one of the outfits the baby was wearing. I'm going to adjust you just a little bit. Get you a little bit higher. There we go. All right. And here's a onesie. And I apologize if my hands look dirty. I did um this really cool fossil digging activity with my son last night. And the clay that the fossils were like embedded in, you had to dig them out. Um, it stained my fingers. And I've been scrubbing at them all day and I can't, I can't get it all the way out. And here's little pants. And they're like a, a velour material. Um, oh, and it's, um, well, this is the U.S. So uh, this is a, a foreign baby clothing company for me. And I was actually really excited about the idea of getting foreign baby clothes. <laughs> Something a little bit different than just like um, Carter's or like Little Wonders, like that, that kind of stuff. Just something different than what I may have already seen. So that that's really super exciting to me. And this baby wears size 62. And I, I believe that that is um, zero to three. This baby is going to be quite a bit bigger than um, my baby from Emily's Dream Dolls. And I still have to do a name reveal for everyone. I was actually going to do that this week. And then I saw that the baby was going to be, this baby was going to be arriving because I had the notifications set. So I decided I'll do this now and then in a little bit I will go ahead and announce um my baby from Emily's Dream Dolls. I'll announce his name. I thought that would be fun to include everyone. Oh there's little shoes. How darling! 
And I think you can probably tell that this baby is another little boy. I don't know what it is. I just, I really have a strong preference um, towards boy dolls. I've, I've, you know, been on all the pages and, and looked at everyone's babies. And I really just gravitate towards the boy dolls, especially. So I'm probably going to have a nursery full of boys. And, and that's okay with me. Um, I... I mentioned in my last video, I'm trying to fold this, I'll do it off camera. Um, I have five children and I have three girls and two boys. So maybe I'm just trying to even things out a little bit. All right. So we have a bottle and I just, I, I'm kind of a sucker for packaging. I really like graphic design type stuff. Um, so this is so cool to me that it's, it's in a different language little bottle and I actually I I don't have any bottles yet even for my other baby so that's really cool I will definitely be using that in, in a little display um, oh look at this little sweetheart the little soft bear oh I wasn't on camera there we go and you know, guys, I'm really happy with the picture quality. Um, I'm taking these videos with just my cell phone. And it's um, a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So it's it's not the newest version of the phone. But um, I am really happy with the photo and video quality of these. I think it's really good. And we have another little gift bag. And, and that's another thing that I am always saving to reuse because... You never know when you're going to need a gift bag. And actually, after this, I have to wrap some gifts because tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. She's a little bit bummed that we can't have um, an actual birthday party because of everything going on with COVID. And, and I actually live in Minnesota, so there's the rioting going on right now. So, so we're just going to stay home and um, try to have fun as a family. So here's the passy. It's a magnet passy. It's got a little um, panda bear on there. Almost looks like scales in the background. That's really cool. An FP, so Fisher Price. All right. And here's the baby. So I'm going to go ahead and ditch the box. Ooh, something flew. All right, and here's the poppy. And, you know, it's kind of becoming a recurring thing with me. I do not have scissors. <laughs> okay, that's the right way. All right, so I'm going to adjust you just a little bit. And I can already tell. Definitely quite a bit bigger than my other little man. And I think that's that's really cool. I'm excited about that because um, my other little guy wears newborn clothes. And some clothing brands only start at zero to three is the smallest. And I don't really like the baggy clothes look, um, clothes look on them. So this will give me an opportunity to go for some of those other brands that only start in zero to three. So that'll be really fun. And I'm just loving buying baby clothes so much. I feel like... Whenever I had a kid on the way, the baby clothes weren't as cute. And then when my babies outgrew baby clothes, suddenly they had all these super cute styles and I had no friends that were having kids. Or So it's been so fun getting to buy these super cute styles. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to figure this out because this the ribbon is attached to the blanket. Oh, maybe it's not. See, this is where I definitely would have needed a scissor. Okay, here we go. I got it. All right. Phew, crisis averted, huh? Okay. So, is in a receiving blanket. And this is a super, super cute receiving blanket. It's like, um, like a periwinkle. And there's like a super pale, like grayish, pinkish color. I don't know if you can see it. It's like... 
it's pinkish, but it's also grayish. It's kind of like the those memes that were going around for a while. Is this gray here? Is this pink? So maybe you guys, this will be our little challenge. You can tell me what you see. Oh, that's the face. <laughs> okay. And another thing I'm super excited about with this baby is this baby has um, full rooted hair. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I see it, his little hand already and it's like already love. Okay. So here's his little feet and they say baby go on the bottom like those gripper socks. So cute. We'll just go ahead and take a look. Oh my gosh, Alina, it's like I'm looking at a real baby foot. Oh my goodness. And there's beautiful veining um, and really, really nice nails. I, I'm, I have a thing for nails. Oh, those look so good. Oh, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. You artists just take my breath away. It's so amazing. All right, so I'll take a look at the other little Tootsie here. I don't know if that's a Midwest thing. Do, do other people call them Tootsies? I know we do. All right, so here's the other foot. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't wait to like really look this little guy over. He's so precious. Okay. All right, oh my gosh. The face is like right here, so maybe... A little more suspense, just a little. Oh, wow, look at those fingers. And like I had mentioned in my last video, I'm really a sucker for the sculpts with the open hands. I just really like the open hands. Oh, so precious. And this wasn't a sculpt that I had like been considering. I know I'm new, but I was kind of researching sculpts but she had posted him for sale and I felt like the price was really good and I just, I jumped on it. I'm like, I gotta have this baby. So I messaged her on Instagram um, and that was it. So, so precious. Okay. And I love this outfit that he's got on. Oh my gosh. It's knit. Like a really, really tight weave knit. And these um, pants that have little teepees on them. And that's actually kind of meaningful for me as well. Um, because my husband, my kid's dad, he um, he is part Native American. So that's really super cool. And um, through our school district, we've actually been learning a lot about um, my kid's heritage on their side of the family. There's a really great program that we have available to us in the school district. And really awesome people that we've met through that. All right, here he is. Oh, poor Bub. We got to get this plastic wrap off his face. Okay. So he can breathe, right? I want to do it like as carefully as possible. Because honestly, I'm not super duper sure on how to care for the hair. I've seen people use these sweet little toothbrushes and um, some kind of a spray. So if anybody wants to tell me in the comments what that spray might be, hook a girl up. I would love to know what that is so I can get some. <laughs> oh my word. <sighs> okay. I know the angle is tricky. You can't see. All right, who is it? Ta-da! It's He's Awake by Tina Kiwi. And I believe it's the same sculpt for He's Awake or She's Awake. Um, but this is He's Awake. And he does have uh, back and tummy plates, but um, those are coming in a separate package. So, and I haven't gotten those yet, but... It was hard enough sitting on this box for, you know, like, gosh, like 10 hours. So there was no way I was going to be able to wait the, the three or four days to get the back and belly plate before I open the box. But I will be um, posting photos on my Instagram 
um, and Facebook too, uh, with the back and belly when I do get it. And just looking at this little man now, I, I can tell that his back and belly, I bet they're gorgeous. Um, so, oh, wow. It's so interesting to see the rooting in contrast to the painted hair. And now I can kind of like decide what I like better. Wow, it's so, so soft. Oh my goodness. It feels so real. And it, you can see that, that the hairline is extremely intricate the way that she has it. I'm going to try to get closer here. There we go. That's pretty good. You can see the those fine baby hairs up front. Sorry, I forgot to turn my notifications off again. <laughs> Whoops. It's been kind of a long day. Gosh, and he, you can see his milk spots. And those are so precious. All right, let's look. Oh my goodness. See the details on his face? Beautiful, beautiful work. Okay. I am super duper happy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love him. He's a little bulgy up here, but I think that that'll just settle for me handling him. I like his weight. I like his weight a lot. You got to support his little head. Oh, I like the proportions of his body a lot too. It's a really good, um, the length of the limbs works really well with the body and the, just the sculpt. I just really, really like him. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. I really like this size and he's awake too. So I can see as well how I feel about um, the eyes being open. Previously, I was really drawn to the asleep kits um, just because um, someone had told me that they fool you longer into thinking that they're real. Because um, when you're staring at them, you know, babies, they sleep with their eyes closed, obviously. Um, and when you look at these ones, they don't blink, of course. Uh, but I really, you know, I like it. I do, I really like it. Um, and I honestly, I don't think I have a favorite right now. I think it's pretty, pretty equal. So that's cool. We'll have a lot of variety going on. Cause again, this is not, this isn't going to be the last time either guys. <laughs> so I hope you're not already sick of me and I'm going to try to keep working on my filming and see different things that I can do as far as lighting and angling. Cause like I, I said uh, before, too, my, my filming space is in a walk-in closet. That's the nursery for my little babies. Um, so the lighting isn't ideal, but I'm sure that there's something that I could do with a lamp or different bulbs or something. So I'm going to try to figure that out. Um, I'm going to just keep working on it. This is you know, my third video, so it'll be a work in progress. All right, let me see here. Oh, that doesn't want to work. Trying to get his body up a little bit more. There we go. I just love his little hands. They're so precious. Look at those. So sweet. There we go. And I had a name picked out for him, but now I'm not super sure. I'm going to have to think about that. Since he's from Russia, I did want to pick a Russian name. And my thought was, I really like the name Vitaly. And I really like that name because I had heard it when I was very young. I was watching a, a show about uh, adoption from Russia, and the little boy's name was Vitaly. And then again, when I was in high school, there was um, a kid that I went to school with, and his name was Vitaly, too. And I'm like, oh, gosh, you know, I really like that name. Um, it means vitality. So what do you guys think? Do you think he looks like a Vitali? I, th I think that's such a nice name. And then he and I can have the same initials. <laughs> Hello. 
I'm gonna have to look at them and decide, but I think I think that might be it, guys. Let me know in the in the comments down below if you think Vitaly fits him. And I don't have a middle picked out just yet, but we'll have to come up with that because I've got to do a middle. <laughs> so precious. I love how he's looking off to the side. So that when I hold him in my left arm, it'll be like he's looking at me. That's so sweet. Oh, this outfit is just darling. I love the little buttons. And he's got those newborn marks on his face. And he's got a really great complexion, too. Really sweet. He looks a little bit grumpy. I love it. He probably wants his passy back, huh? Let's see if I can find it. There we go. What do you think? Oh, yes. Much better, huh? Okay, guys. Well, it was so much fun doing another box opening with you. I really, I really, really loved the experience last time, so I wanted to make sure to do it again. Um, and I'm definitely going to be doing it again, so you'll have to watch out for that. Um, and I'll probably, like, say on my Instagram when one's coming up. I did that this time. Um, so just um, let me know any feedback. If anybody has any suggestions for me and how I could improve my videos, that would be really cool. Um, or just say hi. Um, go ahead and like or subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Um, and check out my Instagram. I'm MVA Brisson on Instagram. Hello. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.